are doing themselves to help Allah's deen, to make the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the highest. Because I don't think that if someone had sat down and thought about my talk, they would have got confused about that. But this is symptomatic, brothers and sisters. And by the way, this is a sickness that so many of us have. And it's not just, you know, the sisters. No, it's very widespread. So let us concentrate, brothers and sisters, on worshipping Allah. Let us concentrate on purifying our hearts. Have you reached khushur in your prayer? Do you stand in front of Allah as if He's seeing you, as if you are seeing Him? Although you can't see Him, you know He is seeing you. Can you pray two rakah? Tell me honestly. Can you pray two rakah? As if it's your mi'raj? Have we even learnt the fara'id? How is our emulation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Brothers and sisters, these are the things I want all of us to think about. Myself, it's not a criticism of anyone. First, it starts with me. And inshallah, I hope these words are for me first before anybody else. And finally, brothers and sisters, I want to, want to mention something. I'm not going to preempt Abu Hamza's talk. He may talk about this, he may not. But one final thing that I want to mention is this. I want to encourage all of us to love one another, brothers and sisters. Let us love one another. Because you know what? That's something we're really missing. It's there, alhamdulillah, a bit. We need it more. We need love. I know it sounds like some hippie, whatever, this and that. But really, believe me, the more I think about it, the more, the more I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, all of you. Everyone here today, everyone who came, you know I love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I love my Muslim brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah for Islam. And believe me, if I love you for your Lebanese cooking, okay, it's very good by the way, okay. And I love you because you're good looking people, okay. And I love you because you're friendly Aussies, okay. Believe me, you know what? It's no good. It's no good. It's actually useless. We need to love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We love each other for our Islam. Because we are upon this noble, beautiful deen that has been given to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We need to tell each other we love each other. We need to be brothers and sisters in Islam. We need to support each other. We need it so bad. Especially living here in the West. We can't afford to be any other way. So this is something else, brothers and sisters, we have to work on. We have to work on it. We have to work on reminding ourselves how we should be to our Muslim brothers and sisters. How we should love for our brothers and sisters what we love for ourselves. And you know, we know the hadith, we all know it. That we can never truly have true iman until we love for our brother and love for our sisters what we love for ourselves. Spend our time and energy working on that, brothers and sisters. And let us advise each other in the best way, in the way that we would accept it. If we wanted someone to talk to us, just think about it. Think. If you want to talk about someone or talk to, to someone, think first. How would I like that person to talk to me? How would I like that person to approach me? How would I like that person to advise me? Love for them what you love for yourself. Deal with them the way you would like them to deal with you. This is the essence, brothers and sisters, really of what it's all about. And that doesn't stop there. Let's take it another stage. Let's take it to the stage of the kuffar. And I'm not saying we love them, but we love for them to be guided to Islam. Let us treat them the way that we would like to be treated if we were them. If you were a kafir, how would you like to be treated by a Muslim? How would you like to be approached by a Muslim? Whether it's the police, whether it's the normal person in the shop, whether it's your work colleagues, think about it. Because really brothers and sisters, the other, thing we, the other action we need to occupy ourselves with here is dawah. Is dawah. And I truly believe if you really occupy yourself with dawah in this country the way you should, 
Most of our problems, 99% of them, I believe, would dissipate. You wouldn't have time. We would not have time for most of the nonsense that goes on between us. And that's what I found. When I look back in England and I see some of the things the brothers are saying over there and the criticisms they are leveling and calling people who have been on the sunnah for years and calling to the sunnah for years, calling them mubtadi'een and stuff like that and innovators and accusing them of this and this. And I know you have the same thing here. I look at them and most of the time I find that these brothers are not involved in giving dawah to the kuffar. They are not. 90% of them are not. Because believe me, if they were, they would not have time for that type of stuff. This, my brothers and sisters, is my sincere advice to myself and yourself. I love all my brothers and sisters in Islam for the pleasure of Allah, insha'Allah. And I want to say also, that if I have said anything to upset my brothers and sisters that was unjust, then I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for your first Allah's forgiveness and then your forgiveness. We don't want to have any problems between us on the Day of Judgment. And finally, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.